Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. In this video we'll look at how I painted this concept environment. Along the way I'll also give you ideas and tips about composition and my workflow in general. I really hope you enjoy the video and if you find it useful feel free to subscribe and let me know in the comments if it was helpful. Alright, let's get started. So first thing I did was to establish a really simple background. And before starting with these images, I look at a lot of photo references, in this case castles. I pay attention to the light scenario and to the materials used, as well as basic construction, and as a result your final image might be a bit more believable. Once I have that, I go ahead and make a really simple sketch. It doesn't have to be fancy or anything like that, just a guide for you to decide your composition. Alright, so once I have a good approximation of what I want, I can go in and lay down the local colors. In this image, I also wanted to keep the layers a bit more organized in order to adjust them later on. So you will notice I will use a lot of color balance and value adjustment to the basic layers and to the light and shadow areas. So this one right here is a good example to why you should have a healthy amount of layer separation. I kept adjusting the shadows up until the end of the image. I was playing with the value, with the hue and with the saturation up until I got the result that I wanted. Same thing for the ground, after I'm putting down the shadows and the lights. I keep adjusting them until I get the needed result and you will also notice that I use mostly three types of adjustments, the curve adjustment, the color balance and the levels. You can find them all in the application menu, image and go to adjustments.
so after working on the forms a little bit, I'm slowly moving towards the background, trying to add some details, uh, adding some nice little patterns and just overall uh, giving it some interest. So right here you can see I blocked in some vegetation in front of the castle and I ended up not liking them at all and modified them completely. So a good tip would be to always keep reassessing your composition and make sure the things work the way you intend them to and if not, modify them right away. No need to leave it like that.
Here I darkened the sky a bit, I also added a few more details to the background and ended up increasing the contrast between the cold darks and the warm lights even more. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe and like for more videos like this. And I really hope to see you in the next one, coming soon.